we do with the stock of Cypress Semiconductor here? At a time when so many other semiconductor stocks have roared higher, Cypress has been trading sideways, even though it's exposed to many red hot end markets. The company's the top maker of chips that power touchscreens, they make programmable systems on a chip, low power semiconductors with many different applications, and they've also got a lot of exposure to static random access memory or SRAM, as well as microcontrollers, memory chips for the auto market. Yet, thanks to some, I think, management drama, let's call it that, Cypress has been treading water for some time. What happened? Okay, last year, the company's founder, longtime CEO TJ Rogers, and a frequent guest on Mad Money retired. But he's still the largest shareholder. It didn't take long before things got pretty heated between Rogers and the board of directors. Lawsuits filed. Rogers waged a proxy battle, and the whole situation got very hostile. Finally, though, last month, Cypress Sammy and Rogers entered into a mutual non-disparagement agreement. And, and Rogers agreed to end his litigation in exchange for letting him nominate two board members. So now that this is all wrapped up, can we start focusing on the company's fundamentals again? Cypress reported a huge top and bottom line, beat two weeks ago. It's growing like a weed here, and I think its future does look pretty good. Don't take it from me. Let's dig deeper with Hassan El Khoury. He's the new CEO of Cypress for Semic, Dr. Learn more about his company's prospects. Mr. L. Corey, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for having me. All right, Asad, all this stuff is now behind us, right? Because you know that Dr. Rogers was a frequent guest. It did seem to get a little ugly, but can we just say that's past tense, new page? Absolutely. Absolutely. We're focusing on the future. Now, the future includes some pretty good quarters, a lot of leadership, I'm saying leadership in Internet of Things, and terrific auto business. At the same time, we know the auto, biz the auto business itself has slowed, and people are worried about Internet of Things, NVIDIA tonight reports, stock gets hit. So assure us that perhaps, even though these end markets they may not be as strong for Cyprus, they could be getting stronger. Uh, they're absolutely strong uh, for us also. A lot of our uh, performance, our last performance, and also forecasted performance is leveraging a lot of the strength in these end market. You know, 30% of our revenue comes from uh, automotive. A lot of content, although there's, you know, uncertainty or some uh, concern about the SAR or the end volume. Uh, we are, uh, you know, expanding our leadership in there, expanding our content, and that's driving a lot of the growth short term, but also on a multi-year period. IoT, I can tell you, everything is getting connected. And when you supply the radios for everything to be connected, you will enjoy that growth now and over the multi-year period. Now, I understand uh, Toyota, giant contract. Is that for the dashboard? Uh, so that's actually for uh, the instrument cluster. You know, all the cars are uh, moving to digital gauges right. versus your uh, mechanical gauges. Absolutely. So uh, let's say I walk into uh, to it. I sit in a car. How much of, uh, of what I see is powered, do you think, as a percentage versus all the other chips by Cypress? You know, when you sit in the car, the first thing you look at in the instrument cluster, about 38% of that is uh, Cypress. That's our market share in uh, instrument cluster overall. That's obviously expanding as more and more clusters turn to display. Then when you look to the side, you have the, you know, the touch interface with uh, true touch and cap sense. We have over 50% market share there as well. And as cars get more and more connected, we have a leadership position there. We're in the eight of the top uh, eight OEMs that are doing connectivity today. More and more content uh, that we are providing across multiple products and applications. Okay, so I know that the uh, dispute with Dr. Rogers is behind you, but how has the company changed its direction, if at all? What's the difference between this Cypress and, say, the Cypress two years ago? So if you look at the focus, uh, if I take it at a high level, first of all, is the markets that we are focusing on. You know, that's automotive, uh, industrial, and consumer. Okay. And then the technologies that we're providing in there, you know, programmability, but more importantly, the connectivity. But the biggest change, I would tell you, is how we go to market. You know, the days of... You know, customers taking multiple chips or just products and putting it together are, way, are past. Uh, they're behind us. Uh, the future is how can a semiconductor supplier transform itself to a systems enabler in order to solve higher level problems that add value? Uh, that's where we are. That's where a lot of our investment is. It's no longer in, uh, you know, hardware and technology. It's a lot of it on the software and the system integration side of it. And that's really fueling the growth that we have. Okay, can you just talk to us about the USB business? Because it seems like you are pretty the dom dominant player. Absolutely. You know, USB is changing from, uh, you know, your standard USB plugs to what we call USB Type-C, which is, you know, to, to simplify it, the one plug to rule them all. 
Right. Uh, if you look at it, you provide you know power, it gets you data, it gets you printer data, uh, display data, audio data, everything going through a single plug. Just think about the simplification that this provides to the end user. We provide that technology across all markets, you know, from the mobile mm -hmm. to the PCs, uh, printers, you know, wall adapters, cables. When you have that ecosystem uh, being deployed, you have to have a portfolio that's able to, you know, give all of that to the customer. So that simplicity is driving the growth, and that growth is accelerating in the second half of 17. Uh, for the next five, six years. All right, well, I'm really glad you came on because a lot of people just say, listen, Jim, you dropped the ball, but there was a management change, and I'm thinking you, you, you came on, and it's a new story, but it's also a continuation of the old. I like your whole product portfolio. I want to thank you for coming on. That's Hassan al Khoury. He's the president and CEO of Cypress Semi. See why. Good to meet you, sir. You too. Thank you. All right, as the semiconductors go, this is an inexpensive one, especially because we've had kind of like we've been trying to figure out where they are and what they're doing. Well, you just heard they are really good in the auto, really good in the Internet of Things. We like those businesses. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.